Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Guys, we're starting off in the nether today. I know we're not going to be there long. Don't worry, I just got a plan. I got a plan. It's okay. Anyways, we got a lot to do today, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so welcome back. We're in the nether. I brewed up some potions. I got some uh, regular potions of harming, and I've got some lingering potions of harming. And a lot of you, uh, what I like to do is in the previous episodes, I go back and read the comments of the last video just to kind of get a gauge for what you guys are thinking and things like that. You would not believe how many people said that I should use water in the nether. <laughs> now, if you don't know this already, water cannot be placed in the nether in any fashion. There's, a, I think there's only one way you can place water in the nether, and that is in a cauldron. And I'm not even sure that you can do that anymore. So you can literally not get water in the nether at all unless it's a, probably a glitch or of some sort. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I see all these comments and I'm just like, wow. I, I didn't know what to say back, so I just I left them. But uh, you guys are overall very, very impressed with the spawner. You liked it a lot. You think it works great. And uh, that's great because um, I spent a lot of time working on this thing. So <laughs> I'm glad that you guys like it. Now, one thing I want to test today is I want to try out our potions. Um... Now, I said we were going to use the sword last time because it got looting, but um, I'm very curious as to seeing how these lingering potions work. These are the new potions that were added into the game with the dragon's breath from the dragon, and when you use them, uh, you should just be able to chuck them down, like, uh, let's flip that, and, like, over here, and it should continuously hit them, but I think I might have missed because they are not getting damaged. Okay, let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. And we'll try to hit. See, they're... I'm getting damaged, but they're not getting damaged. Huh. So those are a little bit harder to use than I expected, to be honest with you. Um, Here, we'll try one more because we have one more left. Let's go down like a block here. And I'll try it over here. I'm going to try to like... Yeah, that... Eh, you know what? That doesn't work the way I wanted it to. I was kind of curious to see how those would work compared to regular splash potions. I don't like them. I thought that they would work a lot better, to be honest with you, but um, they don't really do much. Splash potions, even the regular splash potions of damage, I don't know. I mean, I know I know that um, blazes have a lot of like hearts, but still, that, that doesn't seem very effective. Now, my sword, on the other hand... Sword is most effective, obviously, so... I, and then a lot of people were saying I should use a crusher. But at the same time, you know, I'm not here very often. So I think it would probably just be best if we used our sword. Even after testing the potions. Now, I, like I said, I'm, I'm all for crushers and, you know, hooking up redstone and stuff. Because that stuff is fun. But, honestly, I think our sword's going to be the best bet. So I'm going to AFK here a little while, and I'm going to get myself some blaze rods, and uh, meet you guys back in the overworld. Alright, so we find ourselves back in our base, and we haven't been really working here too much. Besides this area, which I still need to do the subway, the little subway that we're going to do to get over there. And we need to finish the floor. Um, but besides that, the base itself is pretty much finished. We have nowhere to go. So I was thinking was, is initially we have had this empty room over here. This was going to um, be our, like, hidden room that we were going to use. I think we're going to convert this today uh, for a couple reasons. We made this, like, huge thing out of it. But we've got, like, you know, there's cave systems down here. Like, lots of cave system that's still, like, yet to be explored and stuff. I mean, it goes outside, things like that. So, I think the game plan is going to be... To convert that back over there into a cave system. I might block this part off or try to make it a way to get through here. Uh, what's over here anyways? Is there much over here? Um, not really. I mean, this might be usable, but this is our slime farm. So we'll need to, um, we'll need to pay attention to that. So, but uh, yeah, as you can see that, I mean, there's like, you know, tons of cave over here. Not to mention it actually even goes back through here as well and continues going down and i haven't even been over there yet either so there might even be stuff down there that we're not even aware of yet so i think the game plan here is to fix this 
Um, I brought a bunch of stone brick with me, so let's go ahead and kind of work on this now. I should have brought some, um, I should have brought, uh, some torches with me. I knew I forgot something, but it should be fine. So, yeah, this initially was going to be like our hidden room, but, okay. So, I don't really need to hide much of this because what we can do is we can sort of just uh, cave over top of it. Like, we'll need to get rid of some of this. And, um... Mm -hmm. Wow, somebody outside is being super loud. <laughs> that wouldn't be typically a bad thing, but it's like 4.30 in the morning right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Pretty sure my neighbor is getting evicted, too. All the uh, jazzy gossip with Jevin. Uh, something like that, I'm thinking, like, obviously we'll kind of cover this up and then the ceiling will be covered up. I need to fill all this in and then I need to just make this look more like a cave, I think. So I'm going to work on this just a little bit and try to get this looking more like a cave again. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, so before we do anything else, I, I do want to show you what I did to the hallway there. Oh, oh, we got we got hot action going on right now. What's going on? I want to watch. I want to watch. Kick it, kick their butt. Oh, it's awesome. Owned, owned. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Um, okay, so let's go over her. And then this is how we get down. So one thing I wanted to do is I actually wanted to explore that area down there. I've never been down there before. Uh, so this is our hallway. It still needs a little bit of work, but uh, obviously this is just to make it look normal again. Um, when we come through here and ruin it, it'll look even better. So this is the area we haven't been to yet. And I am quite curious. It's like a whole, like, wow, there's like mobs galore down there. So what is, okay, so that's sand. Let's kill this guy. You dead. You not dead. That dude's like a hit, man. Okay, so there's uh, anything over here? Nothing. Enderman. It would be awesome if there was a spawner down here. Dude, the, the cave just... This cave never ceases to, like, surprise me, man. It just keeps going and going and going. Like, this is like a third level... Like, this is technically the third layer of it. We have the initial layer, which we built in. The second layer, which we're about to build in, and then this is even lower. And we got ores and all kinds of stuff. Girl, whew. Tell you what. Nothing down there. What level are we on right now? We're on level 33, so... Huh. Okay, anything right here? I always look like... I hate, like, when gravel does this. Because, like, sometimes there's, like, actually, like, caves back there. So is this a dead end, then? Nope, keep us going. <laughs> this keeps on keeping on. So technically speaking, this is the third level. This is the fourth level. Let's go. I ain't scared. Get out of here, bro. You don't know me. Getting shot at. Okay. Uh, there we go. So what is over here? So this is like the fourth level then. This keeps on going. We got water. Anything over here? No. Okay. Nice little dead end. So yeah, we um, we have got cave real estate for uh, quite a long time. Uh, nothing there. Lots of iron to collect. Goes down even further. Looks like we finally hit obsidian. Maybe. What's weird? Huh. More cave? Jesus. Hold on. So there... Okay, so no more cave. Just lava. But still, dude, this thing is huge. Is there anything good down here? Like, I know there's probably lava on one of these sides. That ends right there. And there... It doesn't seem like the lava continues any. I really haven't strip mined over here either, so. Huh. 
well, this is a pretty big cave. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I looked at a bunch of recommendations as to what you guys said I should do with the entrance to the sheep farm. And I think there was an overwhelming amount of build a sheep head, Jevin. So that's what we're going to do. Um, a couple things I got to get ready first. First off, I'm going to make a crafting table. There we go. And I'm also going to make a small chest. There we go. Now, we need to make a couple different colors here. I am going to be using... Um, first off, I'm going to be using birch as most of the face. Because I don't, I was going to use clay at first, and then I decided I wanted to use wool instead. And there really isn't a <clears throat> like a peach kind of colored face, so... I think that'll be enough. Uh, hold on. I think I want to do like one more tree. But uh, I have a picture that I'm looking at that I want to try to use. Watch me not get another sapling. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> I might have enough, but there we go. Let me let me grow one more tree. Hello, good sir. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Now, that should be more than enough wood. So that'll be the inner face. I've got white for the outer face. And then we need to make black for the eyes. And it looks like I only need two pieces of that. There we go. All right, so it's eight wide. What do we have here? Three, four, five, eight, seven, eight. All right, so let's go ahead, get rid of one more side. And I'll obviously I'm gonna you know terraform this whole thing once um, once we're done I'll make it look a little bit better. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. Okay, now we need to decide how far we want it to be poking out. I'm thinking probably just like two or three blocks. Um, so one, two, three, four. So yeah, right here. So I'm thinking like. Like right there, maybe. Thinking something like that, I think. That is kind of uneven, though. Um, let's even. All right, yeah, I want to get rid of one more. I just want the. I want it to be aligned straight when we do this. There we go. So it'll be four on each side. Oh, no, I did three on each side. There we go. Wait, what's going on? Hold on, I messed this up already. <laughs> there needs to be... Okay, no, I had it right. I'm looking at the picture wrong. So there is three colors. That it was looking right the first time. I just I had placed it in the wrong spot. So three, one, two, three, and then another wall here. So something like that, actually. Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that is eight right there. Perfect. Okay, so um, there is two colors of peach uh, on his lips, and I'm going to be keeping that for the mouth. So the entrance is going to be, let's see, we're going to put this here. And then, so let me get rid of you. Uh, I'm going to be doing it from the bottom of his mouth rather than the white around the bottom. So just like that, that, that. And then it comes over one. Hopefully this this birch will be okay. Just like that. And then we need to get up there really quickly. Let me take these off. There we go. So white poop. This might need to be a different... We might have to use clay. That. 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 And then that. Holy crap, I cannot place blocks today. That, that, that. That. Yeah, that looks like a sheep. And then the rest of this needs to be... White. And I'll fill the rest of that in in a minute. Let me get that. 
to the other side. Oh, we need to sleep. Hold on. Sleepy sleeps. I love the new animation of sleeping. It's awesome. All right, so got that. Let me grab this wool. Other sign. And then there is a couple layers on top as well. So let me get rid of you. How many layers does it have on top? Typically one to two. Uh, all the pictures I'm seeing, it's either one and two. So this is one. And this is two. Um, he looks kind of creepy a little bit. That could kind of work out. Not having the peach for the lips is really weird. It makes it not look like a sheep. <laughs> it's weird, but uh, there's nothing I can do because that's where the mouth goes and that's where I would want the entrance. So I think I'm going to do two for the top. And then let's go ahead and... Um, bring this down, kind of just cover all this up. There we go. And I'll have to do the top in a minute, but yeah, I don't that, see. That looks weird. Does that look like a sheep? I mean, that does, but it doesn't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a sheep's face or not. I'm, I, I don't know. I just, there's like, I'm looking at the pictures on the internet and it doesn't, and it does at the same time. Maybe you guys could tweet me some pictures of sheep heads because I don't think I really like this. All right, guys. I know this one's a little bit shorter than normal, but I'm going to have to go ahead and end the video now. It is getting a bit late and I don't think I can record anymore. It's already like four in the morning. So um, I think my neighbor might have banged on the wall a minute ago while I was recording. So I've got to go ahead and end the video now. I don't want to get in trouble. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching the video, and I hope you guys all have a good one. This is iJevin. Peace out.